Hello beautiful souls. I hope you all are doing well. I'm Anita Svetlana. Welcome to your reading. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for all the love and support that you show towards my channel. A big thank you. So this reading is going to be the full moon reading for Sagittarius. Okay. Please remember that this is a general collective reading. So please pick up messages that you resonate to. Don't forget to like, comment and consider subscribing and sharing the video as well. Uh, I hope uh, you have watched the Pisces Supermoon uh, Lunar Eclipse video that I posted recently. In case you have not watched the video, please watch the video before watching your reading. Alright. Nine of Wheels. Very nice. Page of Cups. Two of Cups. Very nice. So, with the nine of wheels, of course, you have a lot of uh, prosperity coming in. You have built that for yourself. Okay, you have you have built it all, but you're not uh, enjoying the luxuries of life. Okay, you know it's time that you enjoy the the small small luxuries of life. Uh, also, you don't need to be impulsive. Okay. Uh, you want to some of you want to give an offering of love uh, to the person whom you're interested in uh, just don't be impulsive uh, and don't jump into something think carefully before you move forward people uh, with the two of cups in case you're having conflict in your relationship uh, there might be a reconciliation or you will resolve your conflict uh, amicably and uh, uh, you will also deepen your relationship. People who are already in a relationship, this is an opportunity for you to, to uh, deepen your relationship. And uh, uh, people who are single, you do have an opportunity uh, of a new love coming into your life. But uh, like I said, don't be impulsive. Okay. Ten of Swords. And the King of Wands. Oh, what a combination. Okay, so what are the burdens that you're carrying? You know, you are carrying a lot of burdens, a lot of disappointments. What is it that you're carrying? Are you happy carrying them? You are at a situation where you have hit rock bottom. And you feel that, you know, you have nothing more to lose. But remember... This is the end of a situation for you. Okay. There is, this is an end of a situation for you. And uh, uh, there will be changes that will come into your life. A drastic change that will come into your life. That will change the entire situation. Will, will, will bring a lot of changes in your life. Okay. And uh, with the Knight of Wand. Okay. You, you are a very mature person. Okay, so, uh, and you do take responsible for your action. You have, uh, you know, all the, all the competency that you require. Uh, you also, whatever new venture that you could get into, uh, remember to negotiate well. Okay, N remember to, to negotiate well and be in your power. For some of you with this Ten of Wands, no, you have a lot of disappointments and you need to let go of that disappointments. You need, to, you might be feeling tied down and frustrated. You need to let go of all of those, release all those. Make a list of what is it that you need to release, okay? And do some breath work, practice some breath work. Strength. Look within yourself for that strength. You are stronger than you believe to be. Okay. Look within yourself for that strength. You 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 do show a lot of strength, but you are also in the same way you are very compassionate also. Uh, some of you, what I get for some of you is you are in need of help and you know in, in need of guidance. You should reach out to the right people, uh, you know, for that guidance. Also, uh, before you get into something, find, get, get some more information about it. Also, you need to pay uh, 
attention to your finances and uh, try to find a balance in your life don't be all over the place and you're thinking of doing something risky uh, in case you're thinking of doing something risky you should take that chance okay you should take that chance and uh, don't uh, have a pure intention okay just just set a nice pure intention which is for your highest good and then take action and uh, keep a check on your emotions all right what am i doing creation so create the life that you desire make a plan make a note look at this there is she's sitting and creating with a blueprint so make a plan about what is it that you need to do how do you want to take things forward so make a plan acceptance so ex you of course like i said you 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 do need assistance and guidance and you need help so accept that help that is being offered to you also you need to accept your situation the way it is focused so uh, focus so stay focused on your work stay focused on your goals and your desires stay focused on what is it that you're trying to build okay It's time to take action. So, so take that required action. Surrender. Very important. And you know, you need to surrender your situation. Prosperity lies ahead. Your, your first card itself was the nine of pentacles. You know, you do have, have prosperity coming in. And it's not that you don't have it right now. You have it right now also. You need to acknowledge it and be grateful for it and be open to receive the new prosperity that is going to come into your life so whatever you're planning to do go for it okay believe in your good luck so things are going to change like i said with the ten of swords it's an end of a cycle and there'll be you know uh, expect a lot of powerful changes to come into your life and then your luck is going to change so believe in your good luck you need to step into your power, rise in your power, and, and take action. Okay, let's look at your full moon blessings. Box, you will receive a gift. Ring, a marriage will take place. So with the two of cups here, you know, some of you will take your relationship forward. So either, you know, you'll get engaged or you'll you'll move in or, uh, you know, um, you'll decide to get married. So a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. So romance is in the air. So there's going to be a lot of love. Horseshoe, good luck. This is what I was saying, you know, believe in your good luck. Sorry, very going. Yeah. Believe in your good luck. Great passion. So you'll have a blessing on your creativity. Some of you might travel a journey either physical or mental. And the sun. This is beautiful. So you do have happiness and well-being. You have a new beginning. The sun is a beautiful card which, which promises to bring a lot of love, joy, abundance, happiness in your life. All right. So my dear Sagittarius, I'm going to leave your reading here for you. Let me know in the comments. How did you resonate to the reading? Don't forget to like, comment and consider subscribing and sharing the video as well. And I'll see you next time for your next reading. Thank you. Love and light.